we are right back where we left off. Uh, this is the home base locator that we are having here. And I think I need to go a bit more mining. What I'm going to try and make today, I'm going to be making quite big improvements. Uh, as you saw last time, we actually built a little bit more, you know, control into how are we building things with the uh, furnace. So in this episode, I'm going to expand this section of the base with a lot more steel stuff busy work. So that's going to be something that we'll be doing. And then I will be creating, finishing up hopefully the hydroponics bay, because at the moment we have nothing here to pressurize it with. And that's something that I want to get done in this episode and go towards a little bit more hydroponics. So first things first, let's see where we are sitting with that one. So. Uh, we're going to cancel the pressurization because that's not going to happen. Okay, so here we have no pressure, but we have active kit vent Power, passive vent we need some pipes i assume i don't have any on me no and i'll need to run the power cabling to actually pull stuff here all right okay so i have to do some prep you know preparation all right now what i'm gonna do is well let's first replace the battery because that's just annoying there we go. That's the battery taken care of. You, I'd like you to print some more cables if you can. Let's assume that you can. Come on. Tool, cable coil, and well, we have some copper, so you might as well be chugging those. There you go. And you might be building some pipes. Come on. Pipes, pipes. Get pipe. You have some iron? Yes, you do. Perfect. Let me guess, you're out of copper. Uh, well, that's fair enough. All right. But you are not done with the iron. Okay, then we'll do some more piping. Yes, please. Hold on. Pipes, pipes. Six. I don't think I'll need much more, to be honest. I think I'm good. Was there an additional pipe that I missed somewhere? Nope. And there's here an additional 10 more pipes, which I did for completely forgot that I have. Smart job, ground fork, smart job. Okay, doke. Now, uh, let's just cycle to interior and we'll cancel the pressurization, obviously. Hey, welcome to the show. Now, what I want to be doing first is let's do the cabling. I, I actually will need a lot more cables, won't I? Well, duh, okay. I think I have some copper. If not, I'll need to go mining. But uh, before I do, let's take care of what we can. First things first, I want to be putting the active vent, just not this way around. Come on. Yeah, that way around. Okay, that would be an active vent. Passive vent we can deal with later. Hold on, can I actually put it one, one lower? Yeah, something like that, actually. That would be better. All right. Then, while we are already on the subject, I'm going to be de deconstructing this frame. Yes. Putting out the steel sheet, and we've never pressurized, we never pressurized it to begin with. So, I'll be doing the pipe work straight corner and that corner needs to look that away perfect then we'll look at the straight one come on straight can i just oh yes i can exit this way that way perfect because i will be pressurizing this one with the external atmosphere so it's i mean it's really uh, a no-brainer really so not four way corner let's put the corner and i like to think that you'll go upwards yes yeah that sounds like a good plan at, at the time so pick up the passive vent yes 
and then Mr. Pass event. You should be going that way, but you cannot do that until I believe I have fixed the problem. And the problem being is that this is not yet uh, well. I need those two sheets which I had there. Yeah. And just a second, let's pull you. Oh, and I have to still sheet up this one. All right. Good to know. I meant to drop you, not you too. Now we go to the tool. Perfect. Uh, and where are passive vent? You shall be going that way. Perfect. So that resolves you. So what I need now is I need more of the I actually need more uh, more cables and for cables I need more copper and I think I have copper here coal coal iron you're kidding me that I don't have enough copper that would be just ridiculous I have some copper here steel mainly here gold silver silicon well I'm gonna use the copper from here I guess yeah copper and you continue chugging the cable coils please while you sunshine iron iron i think we can pull these back safely and once again out of copper well copper i can i think i know where to mine it so it's not a biggie ultimately what hydroponic cycle depressurizing yeah because we exited the, the other way okay okay and cancel the pressurization so yeah now there we go cable coil you shall go straight straight while I have you here might as well turn you on It'll be nicer to work when we have lights, you know. And uh, you here. And I think I would like a three-way corner here. But not facing that way, but that way. Okay. So that means that now we should be able to pressurize. Set inward. And let's turn it on see if it works it seems like the atmosphere is coming in so we're gonna let this run a little bit at 3 kPa let's see if it's yeah, it's pulling the cold air from outside which is not ideal because outside it's now it's really cold so I might want to pressurize during the day actually yeah that m might be actually a smarter choice so I think I'm gonna go into uh, building that more steel which I'll need all right so steel frames and uh, steel sheets yes steel frames I'm gonna just continue building here and expanding because I will need some sort of uh, way of handling the rest hold on I want to be building uh, a sort of a gas splitter thingy jetpack please jetpack on there we go and I want to kill the jetpack yes uh, now six welding tool all right I think I'll need a lot more so might as well go into the full-on production 
Do, did I actually build more steel? I could actually use more steel. Iron, coal. We have actually both. So while it's night time, let me smelt some more steel. Do I need more steel? Let me just see. Silver silicone, steel, and yeah, I could use more steel. So let's see, I have what I need. So one, two, three, and one of you, perfect. Then we'll put the steel sheets here. I'll make sure to also empty the furnace Oh, maybe I actually I don't need. Can I actually just put here? Would it that be enough to smell still? I don't think the temperature is quite enough, but hey, let's check. Doesn't hurt to check. Hydrocarbon. Otherwise, I'm just going to get the reagent mix and I don't care about it, but hey. Oh, the temperature is going a little bit up. So let's see if this will smelt to steel. Okay, so it won't. Right. Reagent mix. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but hey. Reagent mix 50. Reagent mix 50. Well, that answers my question, I guess. Okay, that's not that was pro clearly not the smartest thing to do. Let's vent out this guy. And while it's night time, let's do the following. Split volatiles, two volatiles. And then All right, and then I'll need to split the oxide. Two volatiles, one oxide. Right. So I think we're good, right? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Valve off. Oxide. We put you in. Then we take two volatiles, we put you in, we start everything up, and then let's be putting the rest of the reagent mix, right? There we go. There we go. And then I think, there we go. Ingot steel, thank you. Spit it out, honey. Huh, reagent mix well for whatever reason. You weren't able to smelt everything. I don't care. That's fine. We've got plenty of steel and you feel free to flush the furnace. Thank you. There we go. Now, when it comes to steel, you will be pretty busy printing stuff. 
and I'll need to go and mine me some copper. I'd really like if I could have this place somewhere more, but then again, I don't know. Reagent mix. All right, uh, you were gonna dump right here. Sorry. All right, seems like the morning is coming. So I might as well be picking up my stuff and let's go mining for copper because I'll definitely need more copper. And I think I'll take iron as well. So, and if I do bump upon ice, I'll take that as well because that will be the next step of what we'll need. And I think this is ice, isn't it? Yes, perfect. Okay, I'll grab that on the way back. So iron. Like I said, not too close to the base, but I like some copper actually. Right. Okay, so with that thing being said, let's do like this. Mining belt, turn you off, put you back in the place and uh, tracking beacon, turn you on and let's go to the home base. Just careful not to fall in the hole. four and six so we have collected the uh, ample amounts of see how the tracking beacon can become very handy i mean ooh, and the light as well can be very handy so you don't fall into your own pit all right 300 meters out I guess this looks like silicone more. Oh, this could be ice as well. I guess here on this world, ice is more abundant than lead. Because when I played, lead was terrible. I mean, I could barely find like two pieces to scrape together. Volatiles, and apparently I've already been mining these. Hundred seventy meters. I should be seeing base by now. Probably just when you cross crest the hill. Ah, there are something. The good thing is that when the, with this tool belt is that your ice and stuff remains rather safe there. So that's definitely a plus. So four, you should power low. Be here. Yeah, I know power low. I did use a lot of headlamp. Not proud of it, but hey, it is what it is. There we go. Perfect. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to immediately swap the battery so that you stop complaining on me, honey. There we go. Charge full. How's the battery this one doing? This one is doing fine. All right. That means that we have to get to smelting copper. Four and six ish. Now let's start with the smallest amount. And no, inward, outward, and feel free to. I mean, I know you'll get lots of gases, but hey, I don't care. Now, there we go. We have the kits there. And what do I need to make? What's that called? Kit, I think, wall heater or heater. Kit, WW, no vending machine, transformer, yeah. Hydroponics? No, maybe that's in auto lathe. Or even in that guy. Hold on. Composite door. All right. That's one. Let's smelt some more copper. There you go.
Okay, doke. A little bit hot in here. So this would be iron and this is iron. So iron, uh, copper, copper, that would be covering all sixers and then some more iron and some more iron. There we go. That will pretty much fill up uh, the tank that I have built in the back. I'm hoping with pollutants mainly and uh, yield me some much needed copper ingots. How much do you need to finish up? Oh, you still have some way to go. Well, not going to wait you and I don't care about the gas mix over there. So copper, you shall be building cable coils onwards uh, cable coils come on get uh, cable coil not heavy just a regular one please I'll leave you to happily chug along which is usually a very bad idea but then again uh, I want to see kit wall heater what do I need for that Copper, iron, gold. Nothing out of the ordinary too much. All right. I think you had your fun. Thank you. There we go. And then four, I need my tool belt, which I'm going to place on the six. And then I'm going to save here. Perfect. So I can cable up the rest. Uh, have you finished arc furnace? No, I think it's still smelting. All right, then let's go in and and we will obviously cancel the pressurization. So what I want to be doing is I want to have the heating and the cooling. So here I'm going to be building a heating junction, which I will be placing like that. And then I'm going to go with straight, straight, straight. And here I'm going to go with another junction. Ooh, not nearly that complicated, just like this junction. And straight like that. And here straight like that so that looks good enough to me and that means the extra cable coil can get stored perfect let's depressurize i'm guessing that probably by now this uh, arc furnace has done its thing and this active event can be closed yes so copper got 50 grams of copper so might as well do a wall heater that's enough do we have a wall cooler do you need something else no same thing perfect Perfect. Wall heater, wall coolers. Let's just pop those in, shall we? Cancel the pressurization. So wall heater, you're gonna go here and the wall cooler, I'm gonna leave you be because you need also some piping. And I do want some pollutants there. So let's see. Uh, can I get uh, the Atmos analyzer in this? Cartridge tracker. Tracker, Atmos analyzer, please. Thank you. And then put it back in. Perfect. So. 
let's see what kind of uh, thing we have here. We have 40% pollutants, CO2, okay. So if I build a small fil filtration unit, I would be able to essentially filter out stuff here. And I would like from this chamber, what's the situation here? You're still pressurized. Oh, no, it's just normal pressure as it is here. Okie doke. Right, sun is coming soon. So I'll want to build this section onwards here with steel. This will be a little bit heavy on the steel. But first I do want to look for another, that's a kit tank and a tank connector, which I'll need both of those. So tank connector, I don't think I have one lying around, do I? No, perfect. And then another kit tank that is also demanding bugger. 20 grams of steel. Fortunately enough, steel is something that I do have quite a lot of. So I just need auto lathe to spit it out. But hey, auto lathe, keep making iron frames now, will you? Please. Steel sheets. No, I need steel frames and a lot of them. Where are the steel sheets? And uh, that's four. I need the tool six. I want to weld this back plate here. The one that got away. Oh, and there you go. Frames, yes, I'll need more of those, please. Steel frames, iron sheets, glass sheets. Steel frames still collect, yes, steel sheets. Not by so much. Uh, all right, so construction, yes. Let's build out here a bit more because we do want to have a bigger base now, do, don't we? At least I'm living under that impression. There we go. There we go. Expanding our base quite significantly. I think I'm gonna add one more row here and then I'm gonna add a couple more on that side for more solar panels just to be on the safe side. All right. So two more here for the solar panels yes and the rest should go here okay I need I think three four more I think it's already done by now with the steel frames yes three thank you stop steel sheets please build steel sheets yes okay now let it chug along until I properly add those. There we go. And uh, yeah, I think one here wouldn't mind. Right, so steel sheets all the way. There we go. Where's my welding tool? Time to weld stuff. So, construct, there we go, now oh, there was this mix that ended up bubbling with life 
okay 13 I think it will be okay for the time being As you might have noticed, I'm systematically adding more solar panels as uh, I'm always keeping an eye making sure that my battery is on the right level. Because if you get out of battery, well, then you're pretty much need to manually reset some solar panels. And that's never a fun stuff to do. So it pays off to keep an eye on it. Now, uh, what did we say? We said that we had this but we needed to get tank right and for that we needed some steel hmm. fair enough now kit tank build it and I'll show you what I've been up to while we're doing that I almost forgot that I wanted to do something else, which is cancel the pressurization here and just fill this with atmosphere. And uh, since sun is still high, it will heat up during the same time. So I hope by the time I get back, it will be pretty well pressurized. All right, so you created the kit tank, perfect. And then do I have pipes? I, th I should have pipes, yeah, I do. All right, and I will want to grab this valve as well. So. I'll probably need to create one more valve as well, but hey. It doesn't matter. So what was the tool of choice? I think it was this one. Yep. All right. And uh, six back four. There we go. Let's construct some piping, more piping than T junction like that. Yeah. That works. So, and then T junction, I want the piping to be straight. Straight. Then down. Then straight again. Or actually, here I could put, uh, yes, here I could put the valve. Hold on. My mistake. There we go. I just want to turn it somehow so that I can actually see what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, come on, there you go. Thank you. And I don't need a three way corner or six way, six way junction. I just need the regular corner. I had some issue with, apparently with my sound. I'm not sure if it will show on stream or not. But then again, I figured it would be actually kind of handy to just continue and onwards. And my frame rate is much better for some reason, which I cannot explain why. So, I mean, it should be. My graphics card is definitely up to the snuff. So, uh, this would work. The only problem that I have here is I would prefer to have a volume pump and I need from somewhere to bring the power which will most likely be from here so cables wise I'm not the most richest guy here hold on do I have some I do have some copper so just continue happily snuffing out cable coils and you I'll need 
what can we build from the pipes? Gas mixer, can pressure regulator or volume pump. Yeah, I can build one. Oh, look at all those cables. I'm pretty sure they're gonna come in handy anyway. Let's take the volume pump and okay, enough. Thank you. It would have stopped on its own because it ran out of copper anyway. Well, that's good to know. Now, oh, there we go. I think I need to change this to be a, perhaps a four way corner. Let me just first place the volume pump. I just some need something that will be pushing hold on volume pump because otherwise it will equal equalize and here the volume pump could be pushing this that way so let's dismantle this guy right and let's place this guy here instead so i'm not sure if i need a volume pump or a pressure regulator or anything of that sort hmm it's actually a good question 50 liters. I have no idea. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this pipe with the rest. There we go. And let's see if I can cut the corner here. Good, yes, I was able to, perfect, as you can tell by the lack of lighting here. And now I'm gonna be building a, how should I put it? I'm gonna just go with the junction here. Junction, yes, and then we do the just the straights. There we go. this way it's a little bit waste of cabling but ultimately I like the I like how it's done so I can always fix it later I don't need it to be pretty I need it to work there you go so volume pump I should be able to now turn you on or shouldn't I volume pump on and you should pump everything that's here I hope so 100 liters I don't know perhaps what I'm hoping I'm waiting for a day now and I hope that during the day I will put ice here that's the idea so let me just show you hi welcome to the show okay let's uh, put it here I'm actually streaming stationers and I'm building some gas uh, capture and something by the way does any of you guys know I mean should I be using the volume pump here I want everything that's in this to get transferred to this portable tank if any of you two guys watching knows let me know in the comments below please or in the chat uh, I don't know. I didn't know if it was pressure regulator, back pressure regulator, or the volume pump. I always Power confuse low. these. Power low, yes. Three charge low, and as soon I'll need to replace my oxygen filter as well. So I might as well build it. 
while I have the iron for it. That's the worst thing that you need to go and mine iron when your oxen when your CO2 filter is gone. And that just sucks. Okay, CO2 filter. There we go. And then I'll need to build the filtration units, hopefully. So these portable tanks are right now working for me. It's nothing major, but uh, water is blue-ish. So are there here somewhere? No, that's the dump site. Construction supplies. Where other things like these markers? Is there a blue spray paint white, red, yellow? I think I used blue one. Ah, never mind. Bottom line is I will be using this. So uh, let's just quickly give it a test ice and if i say let's split half of it half of it i'll return and for furnace chamber ice okay the temperature is a little low so currently it has only ice 273 temperature should be rising because dawn is coming soon which is good because our battery was already starting to complain do we have any more cable coil heavy nope we don't well that's good to know and now we should be starting to melt the let me just quickly see you are closed okay 70 3266 I'm thinking that this has been right now pressurized pretty well it has been pressurizing for a while now I'm actually a little bit worried as to how much it will pressurize 30 kilopascal actually that's quite nice Temperature is minus 19 though, so hopefully that will, I'll leave it a little bit more pressurizing, to do a little bit more pressurizing. Cycle to exterior, but that's definitely an improvement. There we go, and what's the temperature now? 271, come on, give me two more degrees, please so that I can melt this ice. By the way, I'm gonna turn the volume pump to on and I'm gonna be placing valve to here. Then I'm gonna be placing Atmos analyzer in this hand to have it on. H2O, C. It's increasing in pressure. Should be because it's uh, the water itself is being done. What's now Pritel is going on? Okay. Yeah. Okay, furnace contents. See? Perfect. Now what I want to be placing is more ice here. There we go. And now activate. So now let's see how are you increasing. 1.4 kilomoles. So you're pushing there, right? Volume pump. What's the contents there? 30 moles. 
it's draining slowly and the contents here it's draining slowly beautiful so it's working exactly as I would want it to work that would give me a lots of water here which is great in this portable tank come on suck it all up honey suck it all up Right, come on drain it up drain it up and that's good because now in this portable tank we have six megapascal of water that's definitely beautiful all right I'm gonna be closing the valve I'm gonna be shutting down the volume pump perfect and the rest I think we can vent out in the atmosphere I'm pretty okay with that so outside you go perfect 